Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. So in this part, we would like to apply the Reynolds transport equations to mass conservation uh, equations. So if we consider again the Reynolds transport equations, so we consider the Reynolds transport equation. If we rewrite again the Reynolds transport equations, we have the rate of change of x for the control volume is equal to the rate of change of x for the system plus the rate at which x enter the control volume and the rate at which x exit the control volume. So that's the general Reynolds transport equations. So now if you let x now become mass, so I call this one m. So what we will have is the rate of change of mass so the control volume must be equal to the rate of change of mass for the system plus the rate at which mass enter the control volume minus the rate at which the mass exit the control volume. Right. So now the law of mass conservations for system. Let's say we have a, a system. A system will always have a fixed amount of mass. So that means that the rate of change of mass for the systems must be equal to zero. That's the law of nature. Right. So now we can substitute into the Reynolds transport equations. This one here, Reynolds transport equation applied to mass. So what we'll have is this term here will go to zero. So we'll get our mass conservation equations, which says that the rate of change of mass for the control volume must be equal to the rate at which mass enter the control volume at all the inlet minus the rate at which mass exit the control volume at all the outlet. So this is our mass conservation equations or for general non-uniform flows, we have our mass conservation equations, which is d by dt rho d volume must be equal to rate at which mass enter the control volume at all the inlets. So we have rho u dA inlet minus at all the outlet, the rate at which mass exit the control volume. So that's the, the general non-uniform mass conservation equations. So we have shown just now that the mass conservation equations for a control volume can be written like this. So the rate of change of mass in the control volume must be equal to the rate at which mass enter the control volume minus rate at which mass exit the control volume. And if the flow is non-uniform at inlets and exits, we have to integrate to obtain the rate of mass flow into the control volume and the rate of mass exit the control volumes. So now if the flow is incompressible for incompressible flow, well, we know that mass is equal to rho multiplied by the volume 
And we can also write that the mass flow rate is equal to rho multiplied by the volume flow rate. So we can substitute that into these equations. So we will have d by dt rho vc must be equal to for all the inlets rho volume flow rate in minus rho for all the outlet volume flow rate out. So now since density is constant, so we can take density out of the equations, then we can write the rate of change of volume of the control volume must be equal to the volume flow rate in for all the inlet minus the volume flow rate out at all the outlet. So we can write down summary of mass conservation equations. So MCE is equal to D MC by DT is equal to mass flow rate in for all the inlet minus mass flow rate out for all the outlet and for MCE for general non-uniform flow C by DT rho DVC must be equal to summations at all the inlet integrations of rho UDA inlet minus at all the outlet integrations of mass flow rate. And for incompressible flow, so this is uh, non-uniform. And this is incompressible flow. You can write dvc by dt. The rate of change of volume is equal to the volume flow rate at all the inlet minus the volume flow rate at all the outlet. So these are the, the three equations. The general mass conservation equations. This is general mass conservation equations for non-uniform flow. And this is the mass conservation equation for the case of incompressible flow. So as we have seen earlier, this is the, the general mass conservation equations and for the case of incompressible flow, or constant density flow. Now let's consider again the case of steady flow. So for, for steady flow. So for steady flow, the term on the left hand side will be equal to zero. So that means that for steady flow, you must have dmc by dt is equal to zero. So if that's the case, then we obtain the steady flow mass conservation equations or SF MCE which says that the rate of flow of mass at inlet minus the rate of flow of mass at outlet for all the inlets and all the outlet must be equal to zero. Right. Or for general uh, non-uniform flow, you must have for all the inlets, rho u d a inlet minus rho u d a outlet must be equal to zero. So this is SF MCE for general non-uniform 
flow. And then for incompressible flow, so steady flow MCE for incompressible flow, we must have the volume flow rate at inlet for all the inlet minus the volume flow rate at outlet for all the outlet must be equal to zero. So this is for steady flow. So just now we have shown that for steady flow, the mass flow rate at inlet minus mass flow rate at outlet must be equal to zero. For incompressible flow, the volume flow rate at inlet minus the volume flow rate at outlet must be equal to zero. In essence, what it says is that if the mass in the control volume is constant, so that means that the rate at which the mass flow into the control volume must be equal to the rate at which mass flow out of the control volume. And this equation is applicable for single fluids with or without phase change, or a mixture of fluids with or without chemical reactions of phase change, or even for mixture of fluid with solid uh, particulate. If without reactions, it is also applicable to individual species as well as the total flow. Let's consider a simple application of um, mass conservation equations. So let's say we have a, a control volume. So this is the control volume whereby there are two inlets. Inlet number one, where the mass flow is equal to m dot one there. And then at inlet number two, this mass flow rate there is equal to m dot two. And then there is one exit. So the mass flow rate there is equal to m dot three. So this is the control volume. So if we apply the mass conservation equations, so we have dmc by dt is equal to m dot in minus m dot out. In this particular case, the flow is steady. So we just need to use the steady flow mass conservation equations, which can be obtained by letting dmc by dt is equal to zero. So we have m dot in minus m dot out must be equal to zero or summations of flow rate at inlet must be equal to summations of flow rate at outlet. So in this case, we have two inlet. So m dot one plus m dot two must be equal to m dot three. Let's say the flow is incompressible. Well, we know that m dot is actually equal to rho multiplied by the volume flow rate. So this implies that volume flow rate at 1 plus volume flow rate at 2 must be equal to volume flow rate at 3. And we also know that volume flow rate is equal to velocity multiplied by the area. So we can write an equation which will relate the velocity and area at station 1, station 2, and station 3. So V1, A1 plus V2, A2 must be equal to V3, A3. 